Hey, what's good everybody? Joshua Jericho back with another episode of Tales of Berseria. And we are gonna free the prison. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I actually did the first fight here before and I got smurfed You'll like be hardcore. So let's see if I can do a little bit better or else I'm in some serious trouble. First off, what level are they? They're still in level 3. I should be able to win. That hurts so bad. I went ahead and um, one thing I did was I went and redid everybody's gear as best as I could. So hopefully that'll help. And then I'm also doing cooking now. Maybe that'll help too. Yeah, much better. I wish I had power like that. I'd forget about it if I were you. Considering I died last time, that's much, much better. I'm a winner, people. You can go ahead and prepare all the chicken dinners you want, because I'm the winner. So anyway, today's episode, we're going to free the prison. This quick. The prison <laughs> island that we captured before. So this started with us breaking out of prison. Now we're breaking into prison to free our people from the prison, so that part's still the same. Well, no, because the first time we were freeing only ourselves, we didn't care about anybody else. Now we're freeing the Therians, so... Yeah, big old circle of chain. Nothing can stop these fists! Here I come. I'm still nervous, like, because I got smurfed so bad, I'm not even kidding. I didn't even kill one thing, I think, when I when I died last time. It may have just been a bad fight. This is definitely going better, though. But I'm like, I don't want to record and, like, die. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind if it's a boss fight, I do it, all, I do it in Final Fantasy all the time, but... Like, I don't like it in the regular, just everyday fight. Like, hey guys, look how bad I am at the game! I mean, I'm already bad at the game, but you don't even know I'm bad at You won't get any pity or compassion from- Okay, this is going better. First they robbed the Malachim of their will, and now their bodies, too. Makes me sick. But still, it fits their reason. They want strength, and no art can squeeze strength from a Moloch like that one. Hi, where did you come from? I'm bomb, bomb. Got to kill these guys, make them dead. How dare you run away from me? I'm gonna kill you. I love this sport. So yeah, last time I mentioned this, and I, I wanted to kind of go into this a little more. Really? Like Such anybody? Power. I can see why someone would gamble his life to wield it. They're dying, all of them, mere tools. Like, I mentioned this last time, but so we went through that whole episode or three episodes to get to Oscar last time, and. Oscar's got the Artemis and stuff, and that was like, he was the test subject, right? The first time. And we kill him, and in the very next thing we know, we're being attacked by our Artemis. Like, now everybody's got him. So, one, how did they find out so fast that they were, like, how did they do that so quick? If Oscar was the test subject, they were just like, yep, that's good enough, we put it on him. Let's go ahead and start making more guys and send them off. Like, that seems crazy. But two, like, how did they quote-unquote perfect it that quickly? Unless Artemis wasn't a test, or Oscar wasn't a test subject at all, really. What if he was just a mere puppet being used to see if they could at least... Maybe the only test that he was involved in was actually whether or not they could put it on a person. And actual... Like, whether or not they could even make it happen, and then, like, it, this is the actual test. 
after they put it on somebody, now they want to see if it works on people. What a thing, though, that they would give up both Oscar. Just don't even pretend like you didn't know that they were giving up both Oscar and Teresa. Unarmed. Again, Key, they looked at it and has. They were giving up both Oscar and Teresa. There's no way. Whoa. Hi, what are you? You're a scary guy. Alright, this is going a lot better, though. I think I just had a really bad fight. It's over, right? That happens sometimes. Sometimes you just have a bad fight. I'll end this quickly. But yeah, like they totally sacrificed Oscar and Teresa. And my love. Okay, maybe not my love. My prom date, though. Could have been. Who knows? A good prom date could lead to, you know, all this romance and then married before you even graduate college. Kids before you even have your first job. I mean, set aside the fact that I'm already out of college. And she's a video game character. None of that's actually important. Where did that guy? Where was he? There he is. Don't waste my time. You're creepy. I don't like you. If you want to live, get out of my way. Uh, that's locked Let's go over here. Is there anything up on this tower? Come, come, climb that ladder, come, come, climb that ladder. Oh, there's cat litter. I'll take it. Alright, it's time to go find wherever it is that I'm supposed to go. Look, it's the turtles! The turtles. I- oh, why does it have to be you, Sob? Let's just get this over with. Uh, I kind of wanted to see Rokuru smile. So, you all got away. It was all I could do to flee. I have lost face. You don't have a face! Uh, I was so scared! It's okay now, dear. I won't let them cause you any more pain. M Medessa was the one who saved us. Thank you. I could never forgive them for involving children. That's all. Kuragane, head to the rear docks. Keep them safe. If you find the prince and Griffin, take the Von Eltia and escape. As you wish. Rokuro, take the Storm Quell. I made it with the Orichalcum you gave me. You actually did it? I abandoned all desire and forged it with a clear mind. You will find no harder sword in all the world. Stormquell. Made from Orichalcum. I'll use it well, Kurogane. Ah, uh, it's complete! The Orichalcum Blade, Stormquell! It's the hardest blade the world has ever known. Even to an untrained eye, that sword is obviously something special. Kurogane is a real master! Color me amazed! The God Blade Storm Howl versus the Orichalcum Storm Quell. This will be something to see. Will it end in triumph or will you need to try more oomph? The gods alone know. 
The gods have nothing to do with it. Skill alone will determine who lives and who dies. I don't think I can equip that thing. That's kind of disappointing. I was all excited because I thought I could equip it, but then I looked and there's nothing there. I guess it's cutscenes only. Oh hell. Man, am I ready for this stuff? Ugh. Am I ready? Well, that's the bird guy. Prince, Prince bird guy. Managed to avoid capture, huh, Prince? As did you. You did well to avoid Artorius and his forces. Lord Artorius is here? He is. I overheard some exorcists mention it. Artorius. If you want to die, do it alone. We're saving the Therians before anything else. Besides, we're so close to deciphering the ancient book. I know. We'll escape from the rear docks. Follow me. Watch out, Princey Wincy. You ain't no Therian. If Griffin gets there first, we're leaving you behind. Uh, understood. Poor Princey Wincy. He's not as important as his birdie word. Hi, Code Red Demon. How did you get here? I don't know. Let's kill you. That is awesome. There's not much that feels better than actually pulling that off. I'm a champion of fighting. I got the guy of the high goal. I'm simply the best. Where am I? Camera, but camera error. Get her. Let's make the succubus supper bus. Play on words. Supper and bus. Use your storm quell. Yeah, this is a lot easier. I don't know why I got beat up so bad in the first thing I got here. Yeah, that was tougher than I would have liked. That was super easy. What are you complaining about? Allows the ability to add up three random skills to equipment on hard mode. Or I should stop reading that higher. On hard mode or eh, I'm never gonna do it. This is gonna be bad. You'll be rust on my blade. Nobody's allowed to die, do you hear me? Die off please. I think it was just a gear. I think I just had a bad match. Like, I think I just wasn't prepared for these guys to be strong. 
I was overly competent. My greatest weakness. You ever do that in interviews for jobs and you're like, you're like, what would you say is your greatest weakness? And you're like, I'll tell you my greatest weakness is I work too hard. Way too competent. I'm too good at what I do. And everybody wants me to do more of it because they're like, oh my gosh, you're so good at it. And I'm like, I know I am. And then they make me do it more. And I'm like, well, I'm a product of my own awesomeness. Oh my gosh, I still can't open the stupid box. I hate your box. Here's a quick tip. Don't go that far, but when you get asked the question in an interview, what's your greatest weakness? Don't give them an actual weakness. Don't be like, well, or give them one that they would never expect. I always like to do that too. Like, what's your greatest weakness? Well, my greatest weakness is that when I was seven years old, I was convinced the color red was actually green. And then I spent the next four years of school confusing the two of them. And of course that made many mistakes during, you know, because red and green. Fortunately, I got it figured out during traffic school. Uh, otherwise, I probably would have died a long time ago. But every once in a while, I still look at two of them like, not sure. So, I would say that is my greatest weakness. And then they'll just stare at you. <laughs> how can they, how can they? <laughs> Maybe don't do that. <laughs> But don't tell them something like, my greatest weakness is that I don't like to come in on time, or I hate getting up in the morning, or I sleep too much, or I'm like, I forget things. Or I'm a bad, don't, if you're doing anything that has anything to do with money, never be like, my greatest weakness is math. I'm so bad at math class. They will immediately be like, yeah, you're not getting hired with money. I don't want you counting money for me. One, four, seventy-three, there's your seven change. <laughs> You're like, how many dollars is in a five dollar bill again? Oh, whatever. Here, take two five dollars. <laughs> like if you're going for if you're gonna get a job doing pizza delivery, I'll be like, what's your greatest weakness? And be like, my greatest weakness is I get lost a lot, and I never ask for directions. I hate that. Don't, don't interview for GameStop and be like, what's your greatest weakness? And be like, well, my greatest weakness is that I'm addicted to video games to the point that I'm actually more than once will stay up all night playing video games and then forget to go. Like, I missed so many days of school because I, I played video games. I loved them so much. That's why I would be a great fit for your stores because I love video games to the point that I would play them nonstop all the time and then forget to go to class. Like... That's how much I love video games. Like, I sincerely, deeply, deeply love video games. And they would be like, you play them to the point that you don't go to school the next day? They're like, yeah, that's how much I love them. And you're like, no, that's how much you may not show up for work when I ask you to be here up in the morning. I think your best one is to go with like the red green, unless you're going for a delivery drive or job, and then you maybe don't want to say that one. What's your greatest weakness? Well, my greatest weakness is that I oftentimes try to... It'd be like, I, I have a very finite memory for Bill Cosby skits, and I was... Like, you wouldn't think that would be a weakness, but then Bill Cosby did what he did, and now the ability to recite, like, every Bill Cosby, you know, stand-up comedy skit ever, nobody wants to hear them anymore. It's, it's, um... You don't go to a party now, and you're like, hey! They're like, I know every Bill Cosby skit. And they're like, um, yeah. They're like, do you know the one about the girls drinking the stuff? They're like, oh. <laughs> What's your greatest weakness? Well, according to my Pokedex, it's lightning. So don't put me up against the Pikachu, but outside of that, I'm ready to rock this sucker. Let's do it.
You think there's anything down there in the pit for me? Oh, how did I never notice the giant claw mark before? Dang, Velvet! I wish you could. I wish you could just span the camera up so you could look all the way up the top. See how hopeless and despairing her entombment was. That would be cool. All right, so there's nothing down here. I guess I should get to work, saving the day and all that jazz. My greatest weakness might be exploring too much, needing to like see if I can find all the stuff and everything. But we'll go ahead and stop there. The next episode, we will escape the prison again. So for the second time, we freed, the, we got ourselves free from the prison. Then we captured the prison. Now we're freeing the prison, and then we're gonna escape from the prison again. I like this game. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time when we escape the prison again.